Restore your health, be renewed. You gotta take control to see a breakthrough. You're only one step away from a life made better. A life made better. A life made better. Greetings, everyone. Happy Friday. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to the Restore Your Health podcast, where we share health and wellness content to restore the health of your youth and enhance your daily lives. We share content and interviews with herbalists and healthcare specialists to help you stay up to date with alternative holistic medicinal systems. Let me share that I'm not a doctor or a curer of disease, therefore content shared on the show is primarily for your informational purposes only. I'm your host, LaRonda, and today on the show, we will reveal the benefits of ashwagandha herb, St. John's wort, and COVID-19 updates. We'll also share our Young Living Essential Oil tinctures and oils for seasonal coughs. Let me first start out, guys, by sharing with you an inspirational poem. I came across this poem one day while strolling the internet, and I thought it was relevant for today. And it, re it reads like this. The poem is called The Seven Rules of Life. Number one, smile. It always works out in the end. Number two, be kind. You have the power to make people feel good. Number three, don't give up. If it doesn't work the first time, find another way. Number four, don't compare. Everyone's on a different journey. Number five, avoid negativity. Avoid negative thoughts, situations, and people. Number six, make peace with your past. Focus on being present and creating a better future. And number seven, take care of your body and mind. One struggles to survive without the other. Wow, what a powerful poem that is. Oh my gosh. So just let that marinate for a minute, guys. The words in that poem are just so relevant to where we are today. You know, um, we need to stay away from negative people, negative thoughts, you know, things that 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 brings stress in your in your life. We need to let go of the past, right? Focus on the future. Focus on what you're doing presently. All right? And be kind to people, right? Be kind because you never know who you're entertaining. You never know who you're in the presence of. So you have to be kind to people. And if it doesn't work the first time, well doggone it, keep on trying. And keep trying and keep trying and keep on trying. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, I just, I, I, I want to share that poem because I accidentally came across it um, while I was doing some research online and it was so relevant, you know, for where I was now. Um, I thought, you know, it would be great to share it on the show with you guys. thought that you would enjoy, um, you know, enjoy the poem because that's what we're here about because that's what we're here for on the show. We spread positivity along with ways to help you to live a more sustainable life, which includes a healthy body, mind, and soul. All right, so let's get started with the revealing benefits of ashwagandha. Ashwagandha root is an herb of the ages, also known as ginseng of Ayurvedic medicine, the traditional medicine in India, and is also con considered an adaptogen, a term used to describe the herb that improves physical energy and athletic ability. It increases your immunity to colds and infections. It increases sexual capacity and fertility. Ashwagandha has the reputation of ashwagandha as a general energizing, promoting disease preventing tonic. Okay, and it may have effects on the immune system. A few studies have shown significant increases in white blood cell counts and other measures um, of strengthening immunity when given ashwagandha or certain chemicals extracted from the herb. It's been used as a mild sedative uh, for its effects 
on the central nervous system. Ashwagandha may also help to regulate your blood sugar, which aids in suppressing sugar cravings. And who doesn't want that, right? We all have those bad sugar cravings. And you just want to make sure that when you have those sugar cravings, that you are um, that you're getting the right type of sugar, right? <laughs> All right. Ashwagandha also has been known uh, to treat cancer and for cancer tre uh, for cancer treatment and prevention. Research shows that ashwagandha may be a prom a promising alternative for cancer treatment and prevention. Ashwagandha seems to show positive effects on the endocrine, the cardiac, and central nervous system. It is one herb that could help your body produce its own thyroid hormones. Wow. The ashwagandha is also used in male fertility. It's used to restore male libido, cure impotence, and increase male fertility. It is widely used in Southern Asia as a male sexuality tonic. Research on ashwagandha has concluded that the extract of the plant has a direct uh, spermatogenic influence on the semi-inferior tubules um, of immature rats, presumably by exerting a testosterone-like effect. So they've used it on rats, guys. It could also be a potential source of hypoglycemic, diuretic, and hypocholesterolemia. Preliminary and hypocholesterolemia. Preliminary studies indicate that the herb helps reduce the negative effects of stress, slow, um, it slows tumor growth, and it treats anxiety and insomnia. So for those of you who can't sleep at night, grab you some ashwagandha. Um, it's, it's been known to be very effective with anxiety and insomnia. So you can rest at night. We want you to rest well, okay? Ashwagandha is generally safe um, at the doses recommended on the packages. Okay, guys, again, don't try to overdose yourself with these herbs. Take them as recommended on the packages, okay? In high doses, ashwagandha could have a steroidal um, activity like creatine in the body so we don't want that all right so just take it as recommended ashwagandha is used as an antioxidant um, it has antioxidant properties because ashwagandha has traditionally been used to treat various diseases associated with the nerve tissue damage related to um, destructive molecules known as free radicals some researchers have uh, speculated that the herb may also have antioxidant properties um, free radical damage plays a role in normal aging and in such neurological conditions such as epilepsy, Parkinson's disease, and Alzheimer's disease. Wow, that's a lot. So guys, get you some ashwagandha. Add that one to your list, okay? That's another powerful herb to have um, that benefits the free radicals, that benefits your cells, uh, your, neuro your neurological system, your tissues, um, your immune system. It has a vast variety of treatments, okay? And which brings me to our next uh, discussion, our next herb, which is St. John's Wort. Yes, St. John's Wort um, helps to support your brain and cognitive support your immune system, and it also supports stress levels. All right, so let's find out what exactly is St. John's wort. All right, so St. John's wort has positive effects on the mood, particularly when the whole plant extracts are used. The flavonoids, hypericin and hyperforin have been the most lauded chemicals contained in St. John's wort. Yes, um, and it plays uh, a, a very responsible role in pharmacological activity. Yet, with all the research, you know, it's still very unclear which chemicals, if any, um, are responsible for its activity. St. John's wort um, contains flowers that have many antioxidants, such as rutin, quercetin, and lutein. In a study in 2002, a phytomedicine research revealed the positive effects when used 
at least 300 to 1,000 milligrams of the herb every day on 34 controlled double-blinded studies. The St. John's wort uh, was very powerful and effective to support the overall immune system. Also, multiple studies have shown that St. John's wort also may be effective in revealing mild to moderate uh, depression. Yeah. Although the maximum antidepressant effects may take several weeks uh, to develop, uh, and that's with any herb. Uh, St. John's wort is a Mayo inhabitor. Um, it should not be used with alcohol or any other foods that may interfere with the herbs. So um, I think you guys pretty much know not to take herbs uh, with alcohol or, um, you know, other herbs that may interfere. Just read the directions and take it. Um, as directed, as recommended. Um, you don't want to take St. John's wort with foods that contain um, tyramine, uh, cheese, red wine, preserved meats, and yeast extracts. So um, just make sure that you take note of that. You definitely don't want to do that, all right? So let's find out the properties and uses of St. John's wort. Okay, so Properties and uses for St. John's wort are hypothyroidism, neuralgia, uh, sciatica, and back pain from deep wounds, mild depression, not severe depression, shingles, cold sores, and herpes, spinal problems, joint pain, aging, trauma, eczema, uh, stomach aches, colic, lung congestion, insomnia, anemia, headaches, jaundice, catarrh, carcinoma, which is a type of cancer, bedwetting, um, melancholy, uterine cramps, menstrual problems, antidote for intestinal worms, uh, source of hypersin, which may counter the HIV virus. Wow. So that looks like St. John's wort is one powerful herb, guys, with many, many, many uses. As you can see, the list goes on and on. St. John's wort strengthens the nervous system and speeds healing. It's an analgesic, a pain relieving, um, antidepressant, an antiviral, it's anti-inflammatory, anti-spasmodic, a diuretic, it increases the flow of your urine, um, is immunagogic, it's a diuretic, it increases the flow of urine, it promotes menstrual flow, and it's, it's used as a nutritive tonic, all right? So guys, as we can see, St. John's wort is another powerful herb to have on your list of herbs all right it has many many uses as you can see as we read the list goes on and on all right so which brings me to our next topic which is young living's essential oils for seasonal coughs and respiratory symptoms such as okay so we have the cedar wood we have lemon, we have peppermint, we have tea tree, which is melaleuca essential oil. Um, we have cypress, we have um, helichrysum, and frankincense are all used in combination to help remedy coughs and to help to loosen up that mucus in your lungs and help to clear up your lungs. So let's find out what type of remedies we can use with these wonderful oils, okay? So first we have a remedy for a natural cough remedy. And we're gonna massage a diluted combination of the cedarwood, the peppermint, frankincense, cypress, and helichrysum directly onto the chest area. So you can, you can mix these oils together. Also, let me add that you might wanna add a carrier oil to these oils because some of these oils are really powerful, like the peppermint is real strong, 
uh, frankincense. They're really strong oils. So you might want to dilute them a little bit with a carrier oil um, when you rub it on your chest. But you can use those as a natural cough remedy. All right. And then also we have a sore throat remedy that you can use. Um, you're going to rub a diluted mixture of the lemon oil, the peppermint oil, uh, the tea tree maluka essential oil uh, that also may be rubbed directly on the throat. You're going to start this at the base of your ears and continue with a downward stroke along each sides of the neck. All right. You're going to rub um, underneath, um, underside your chin area, on um, both sides and on um, both sides of the trachea. You can repeat this up to three times daily. And that one was for the uh, sore throat remedy. Okay, then we also have a deep steam inhalation. For those of you who have a facial steamer, kudos to you. I have one myself um, and I love to use it. So you can use um, your facial steamer, not just for you know steaming your face and making your skin look great, but you can also use it um, to help you to breathe better too. Okay, so you're going to use that. You're going to take deep breaths in and deep, deep breaths out. Okay, um, and you can have, um, you can also add some of your essential oils to your facial steamer, like the peppermint. Um, you can add that to your facial steamer. You can add the frankincense. All of them, really all of them you can add oils to, um, but um, you're going to use those to open up your sinuses and clear the pathway, okay? You can also take a hot, hot shower. Um, steaming in a shower helps to moisturize and soothe the nasal passages when combined with specific essential oils, as we noted um, here in the podcast. Using steam inhalation can help to loosen your mucus and bring relief to your sinuses, all right? So, just make sure, guys, that the shower is not too hot because you don't want to burn yourself in the shower. All right. So just make sure that the temperature is just right for steaming only. OK, <laughs> unfortunately, staying in the shower forever is not an option uh, for those of you who have daily lives. Plus, think about it. The water conservation, right? <laughs> not to worry. We suggest that these easy steam bowl alternatives are um another way that you can steam your face. So if you don't want to get in the shower, if you don't have a facial steamer, put a, a few cups of water on the stove um, in a pot and steam it. And um, you can use that to, you know, steam it. We used to do that back in the back in the day, old school, right? Um, we would steam uh, or I used to see my mom do this and she would do this as a beauty secret. She would uh, boil water on the pot and she would take a towel um, after she cut the, the stove off, of course. And then she would take a towel and throw the towel over her head, put her face inside the pot and let that steam her face. I watched my mom do that and her skin was beautiful. <laughs> okay. Um, and not only, um, like I said, does it help with skin, but it also helps to um, open up your pores, which is what we want to do. We want to open up our lungs and our sinuses and um, keep ourselves breathing good. Which brings me to our next topic, and that is COVID-19. Yeah, guys, let's face it. We are living in a season where we must take proper protocol. Staying healthy during the pandemic, that means that we must keep our immune system built up um, with nature's medicine and herbs. Keep our hands clean um, and keep our surfaces uh, wiped down. And for those of you um, who have already gotten a shot, kudos to you. For those of you who haven't, kudos to you as well, um, to each his own. I'm not here to tell you uh, you should or you shouldn't take the shot. Um, it's a personal preference, but I am here to tell you to take uh, the proper protocol, to follow the mandate as far as mask wearing, washing your hands, keeping your immune system built up, you know, things of that nature. Um, because there are different circumstances around COVID-19 and with the new variant Delta out that has emerged, uh, we want to definitely make sure that we are taking um, 
protocols and taking this seriously. You know, this is not um, a laughing or joking matter. People have lost their lives uh, due, due to COVID. And we've seen a lot of this in our country. So we, you know, I think, you know, that by now we should all know that this is not, you know, something to be taken lightly, that it should be taken seriously and that we all should work together to lower the risk and the spread of COVID-19 and any other variants um, that has emerged like the Delta. We wanna make sure that um, we are doing this together. All right. Um, and let me just tell you, you know, it, you know, it, it's not over yet. OK, we must all abide by the rules. You know, whether you believe in taking a shot or not, follow the mandate, guys, and stay safe. That's it. Follow the mandates, um, follow the protocols, um, wear a mask and um, and stay safe. OK. And, um, and I think that if we all do that together, that we will see significant changes in uh, this pandemic and the virus and all that it has caused our country to go through. Um, but yes, so with that being said, I thank you guys so much for tuning in to the show. I'm very, very appreciative for um, you guys being dedicated listeners and supporters of the show. Which brings me to, I want to offer you guys to, um, not only to subscribe to my channel, but to support the channel monetarily. And you can do that by sending in a donation to paypal.me forward slash LD Ministries. You can also do that by sending in a cash app payment to dollar sign LaRonda Dawson, or you can go to my website at LaRondaPublications.com and click on the link to purchase the book along with uh, giving a monetary donation. Um, that money goes to help to support the, sh the growth of the show because we want to broaden our, our platform here on the podcast. We want to bring in special guests and herbalists and doctors um, and you know specialists people who um, specialize in what we teach and what we share on this platform every week. We want to bring in, um, we want to have different events. And in order to do that, we need the money uh, to do that. So we definitely appreciate any donation that you would be so kind to donate to the show. Um, again, that concludes our discussion for this episode. Uh, I want to thank you guys for tuning in to the show. If you like this show, share it with a friend and subscribe to the channel. Hey guys, don't forget, my book is almost being released, Live, Sleep, and Eat Well. It'll be in bookstores soon. You can pre-order the book at LaRondaPublications.com. Um, and as always, have a wonderful weekend and we'll see you here the same time, uh, same place next week. Have a great weekend. Restore your health, be renewed. You gotta take control to see a breakthrough. You're only one step away from a life made better. A life made better. A life